some tea here. Ah, that's better. So welcome to remote learning. Here you are as juniors at DUAA. Temporary building. Didn't last as long. Why? Because of Corona. That kind of cut our time short down to 14th Street. Who knows how long this remote learning is going to last? My guess, a little bit longer than we think. So each week you're going to get a video from me describing what the week's remote learning activity is going to actually be. So on Monday you'll get this video on my YouTube channel. You also get the assignment and then a remote learning check-in. The check-in is a Google Forum place on Google Classroom. It is basically a way to, for you to talk to me and let me know just how you're doing. Oh, and you probably wonder what this is. I apologize. I forgot my pen. I don't know where it is. It didn't transfer from one school to the other. The tan is some sort of a fluffy hat that has like five or six pointies to it. I don't know where. Ah. Anyway, so what we're going to do this week is we are actually going to finish up everything with electric circuits. Now, a couple of you sent me the video, the analyses from the videos about Finding Dory or Star Wars, but now we're actually going to get, get moving with it. So on Classroom, you'll find a document that looks something like this. Let's see, look at this. And this is your document that kind of, it's very similar to the PowerPoint that I have on the screen every time you walk in the classroom, kind of giving you the announcements, what's going on for the day, and what's coming up. So each week you have to, A, watch the video, which obviously if you're doing it, your part one is done. Complete the check-in. It's kind of, again, the conversation between me and you. And the last part for this week is we're going to be actually doing our Unit 6 Conceptual Examish, which is also on Google Classroom. So we're finally just going to put the, this whole Circus Michigan to bed, just end it and be done with it. It's a conceptual test very similar to what we've had before throughout the year. No equations, no math, because equation editors online are not very nice unless you know, unless you're using Microsoft Word, which we're not or you have some other fancy equation editor that, that's available to you, which we're not using. So everything we're doing right now is all the conceptual nature. Excuse me. The other more tea. Would you like more tea? Here. Excuse me. Give a little bit here. So our Unit 6 Conceptual Exam is basically the conceptual exam that we're going to finish up the unit with. You can use your notes, your labs, anything that you have with you. You can have use that for the exam. Pretty much your notes in the first several labs will be able to answer every single question. You know, I'm putting it on you to use the honor system to not copy off of one another. However, you know, if you talk to one another, I'm sure that I'm sure that might happen, but your answers have to be exactly your own. The last lab that we didn't complete it, not everybody turned it in yet. If you have it, please send me pictures. That's the one with the resistors and series parallel and all the different combination circuits. This unit six conceptual exam is going to be due at the end of the week on Saturday by the evening hour. Then we'll grade it and we'll be putting it into gradebook. Again, remember your grades at this point, they are what they are. We, CPS policy, state policy says we can't lower your grade any. This is only going to help increase your grade by however much you score on the test. And that's going to be going forward. Next week, we're going to start Unit 8, which is on waves, sound, and light. We're going to skip over Unit 7. Unit 7 is really hard to do remotely. If we come back to school at the Fry, then we'll jump back to Unit 7. But the goal is to complete Unit 8 while we're here in remote learning. And at some point, we'll probably talk about Chernobyl, which is a, 
our Unit 9 section on nuclear physics, which is where a nuclear reactor in Ukraine kind of went, oh, it's okay, it's boom, it exploded. That's kind of what we're going to be looking at next. So again, for this week, to recap, you have to watch the YouTube video, which you've probably once completed by now. You're going to complete the remote learning check-in form on Google Classroom, and you're going to do the Unit five, unit 6 Conceptual Examish on electric circuits. If you don't have your notes, I suggest that you email Ms. Ruiz at amruiz1 at cps.edu to figure out how to get into the building. Then you can actually extract your notes and any other classroom materials that you need. With that said, I'll probably see you sometime later in the week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and remember toilet paper, Walgreens, I found them, they get it on Wednesdays. Costco, don't even try there, you're going to stand in line. Target's making you stand in line. Mariano's, I think I got the last thing of toilet paper there. It's not the best. It's a little bit like sandpaper, but you know what? It gets the job done. Have a good one.